Hey guys, if you've been loyal to us, then you've probably seen our video on the Zendio Super Tank Pro. Well, um, Zendio is not all about power banks. They've also made something called the Zenpod, which is a speeding case slash fidget speeder for your AirPods. And that was last year. This year, they have their very first ANC earbuds. This is called the Zenpod. Yes, Zenpod with an S. So without the S, it's a case. With the S, it's their very first ANC earbuds. Luckily for us, we get to check out the Zen Pods before they are launched. There's black, white and blue. We obviously got the fanciest colour of all three. They call it blue but it's like a gradient of dark blue to light blue. And it changes colour when you move it around. It has a shiny finish. It's quite cool for a case and you've got the logo right here in the centre. Now, pairing and controls. It was super easy to pair. I just had to open the case and take these earbuds out and I'll find the name Zenpods in my phone's Bluetooth settings. The controls can't stray too far for any earbuds really. So you tap once to play or pause your music and you also do this to answer or end your calls. If you want to reject calls, you press and hold. And if you do that during music playback, it will switch between modes and there's three. You've got the ANC mode, you've got transparency mode, which um, basically keeps you aware of your surroundings and you've got the normal no ANC mode. So did these modes work? Yeah, they did. My favourite is obviously ANC because nobody talks to me anyways. I guess one control I find more interesting is that I can switch between calls by double tapping. So if I'm on a call and another call comes in, I double tap to put my first call on hold and answer the second call. It's nice that it's there, but again, I hardly ever get two calls at the same period of time. Oh yeah, so you can also triple tap to activate your voice assistant, but that's a pretty standard controls, I think. Sound quality wise, I'd say they're pretty good. These earbuds have 13mm dynamic drivers, but I wouldn't say they're on the bassy side. The audio is pretty balanced, you don't get super boomy bass, the vocals are really clear, but the mids are slightly muddy so you get poor sound separation and the instruments lack definition. But for the average user, or at least those who don't need pick, they will find these earbuds okay for daily use. The mic though, even though Zendrio said it has a single environmental noise cancellation mic that supposedly brings out my voice and cancels out the surrounding sounds, it's subpar. My voice actually sounds like I have a mask over my mouth, so when I actually do have one, it's like I have double layer and I sound super muffled. Now these earbuds come with Bluetooth 5.0 and I'm quite impressed with them. So I have tried earbuds with a connection that starts breaking off when I'm near the distance limit, but these earbuds are not the same. So long you're within the signal range which is supposedly 10 meter, the connection is really steady and once you're out of that range, it immediately cuts off. They also have a decent battery life. With the charging case, you can last about 24 hours with these Zen pods, and without, you can last about 6 hours, which is good enough if you're like me and game for like an hour or two daily. I also tried wearing them while I'm exercising, and because they have an IPX5 rating, a little bit of sweat won't destroy them. Now, this earbud seems like a pretty good pair, but we actually don't know the price of them yet uh, at the time of shooting. I don't know when you guys are watching this video, but uh, the Zenpods are launching on October 19th, so once we know the price, we'll be sure to include them in the description box down below. Honestly, I think I get this for myself if it isn't too pricey, and I really doubt that it will be more expensive than the AirPods Pro. So that's it for our video today. Overall, the Zenpods is a yes for me. They're cool, um, they're sturdy, long-lasting, and the audio is pretty good. If you do end up buying one, you can share your experience with us in the comment section down below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, KL Gadget TV, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!